Now here's a puzzle for your friends. We have a piece of paper with a diamond shaped hole. Now the hole is quite a lot smaller than the coin. And try as you might, it simply is not a good fit. No matter how much you try, the coin will not go through unless you tear the paper. So what you ask them to do is to get that coin through the hole without tearing the paper. And this is what you start with. You've got a coin, you've got a sheet of paper, a pen, a pair of scissors, and a ruler. Now this ruler does have millimetres on it. You might have one with inches, and in that case you'd have to convert from millimetres to inches, but we'll do it all in millimetres. You measure across the coin at the widest point. Most coins, of course, will be round, but this one's got edges. So at the widest point, this coin is 32 millimetres across. But we want the hole to be smaller than the coin. So whatever the coin measures across, you subtract 5 millimetres from it. So it's 32 millimetres across, and you're going to subtract 5, which comes to 27 millimetres. So that's what you want the whole size to be. Now we need to find a center point for that. So the center of 27 would be 13.5. So that would be the center point, 13.5, because we wanted 27 millimeters across. So you take your ruler and you take your pen and you just put a little mark on the ruler at the 13.5 mark. Now, on the paper, around about the center, it doesn't have to be exactly the center, but somewhere in the middle you put a cross, and that's your center point. So you get the center point on the ruler, which is 13.5, and the center point of the paper, which is the cross. You line those two up, and you make a bit of a dot at the zero and a dot at the 27. So you end up with something that looks like that. And you turn it around and do the same the other way. You get those lined up and you make a mark at the zero and a mark at the 27. So then you take your scissors and be very careful with scissors. If you're not too familiar with scissors, get an adult to do this for you. You put a little hole in one of those dots and you're going to join those dots. So you're going to cut from one to the next. You take your scissors and cut across to that next dot. Then turn the corner and cut to the next dot. Turn it around. Do the same thing again to the third one. And finally, join up with that point that you started with. And that will give you a diamond shaped hole in the center of the paper. And of course, that hole, being 27 millimeters across, is too small for that coin to go through because the coin is 32 millimeters. The hole is 27 millimeters. So the coin can't go through unless you tear the paper somehow. Now, the object of this is to ask someone to get that large coin through that small hole without tearing the paper. It won't go this way, it won't go that way. And that's their puzzle. How do they do it? Well, this is how you do it. You fold the paper so that there's a V on one side and a V on the other. And you open it up, put the coin in the hole so that it just sits there. It won't go through because the coin is larger than the hole. Now what you're going to do is to push your two hands towards one another so that the paper opens up like that. Now I'll show you from the front view because it's a lot easier to see from that angle. We'll just get that into the hole again. So this is what they see. 
Once again, we'll push our hands towards each other so that the sides open up. And all you do is keep pushing your fingers towards one another. And you might have to jiggle just a little bit. And the coin will drop through the hole. And you can open it up and show that the hole is still smaller than the coin. But there are no tears this way. And there are no tears that way. And the coin, of course, still won't go through because the coin is still much bigger than the hole.